hi guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is kelvin johnson so today i'll be discussing with you how to deploy office 365 pro or office 365 apps using your system center configuration manager which is sscm so let's say you want to deploy office 365 through your um, sscm so what you need to do first of all is uh, let me just scroll up here you can see i'm using my um, microsoft endpoint configuration manager and I'm using the trial version, mind you. So, well, what, what you need to do is to go to your software library. And in software library here, we have to click on the Office 365 Client Management. So here we can see, if I if I open this at the first time, it will actually, I will need to just a little bit, just scroll right hand to actually see my Office 365 installer. So what you need to do, you need to click on the plus sign here to start the installation process. So here we have to actually create, give a name to this Office 365 we want to install. So I'm going to call this um, Office 365 Pro. And here um, we need to browse to actually to a folder, a folder, or we need to create a folder where we need to store the content of Office 365 Pro, which will be downloaded from the internet. But mind you, the recommendation from Microsoft is that that folder have to be empty, so there should not be any other file in that folder. So um, let me just go to browse, yeah, and uh, I'm going to just try to see because I already created a folder which is called the Office 365 Pro, and that is actually a share folder because this folder has to be accessible from other devices. So if your devices are not able to access this folder, definitely you will have a problem installing Office 365 Pro on those device so we are going to select this folder and you can actually give a description um, for example if you um, work with um, in a multinational uh, environment or in a big company and you are not the only IT professional working in that environment so to actually um, give a description of who installed this software you can just let me just say um, just So when someone, when I'm not working for this company anymore, someone can definitely know that I'm the one that actually configured this um, software or installed this software to other devices. So click Next here. And here we need to actually customize the um, our Office 365 we want to deploy. So you say to configure and deploy settings of our Office, click the button below to open the Office, the Office Customization Tool. So just click on Go to the Office Customization Tool. So after the customization tool gets open, so what we need to do, we need to actually select, the first thing we need to do is on that product and release, we need to select which version of um, Office you want to install. So if your company is actually dealing with 64 bits, because at this moment, Microsoft is actually recommending um, companies to deploy 64 bits of um, Office, but before it was actually recommended that we should install 32 bit, but now, because most Addings are actually working with 64 bit and not 32 bit. So companies who are um, working with a lot of Excel are having problem or database are having problem with the 32 bit version. But for now, I'm just going to go for the um, 32 bit version because probably this is what the company recommended. And here on that product, so which products and apps do you want to deploy? So we need to select um, an office suite we want to deploy. Here you, see, you can see we have the different options we want to install. So we can actually go for the uh, Microsoft 365 as for enterprise, um, as for business or the LTS Professional Plus. But I want to actually install the um, Office Professional Plus 2019, which is volume license. But mind you, if you install this version of Office, users can actually use their Office 365 E3 license or E5 license to actually activate um, still activate Office on their devices. So I'm going to go for that version. But here we can also decide to select um, Visio if we want a uh, professional. But for now, I'm not going to select Visio or Project. Or we can as well add, um, select um, additional products we want to install, like the language pack. But what I will need to do, I don't want to install any other uh, external products so that um, this software packet doesn't get bigger and bigger. So what we need to do here is say, okay, select the update channel you want to is being installed on this device. So what I need to select here is we only have one option for this um, uh, product of Win um, Office, so we cannot select more options. But mind you, if I select, 
let me go for the office 365 enterprise and show you what happens you can see that now i have the current channel and other channel i want to uh, i can actually choose like the current um, channel the current channel preview the monthly enterprise channel or the semi-annual enterprise channel so but if i select just like the um, office professional pro plus plus then i only have one option and which is this version that is the latest version of office pro plus that will be installed on that device and here you can see the apps um, selection is going to be installed on that um, on the windows 10 device if we push this to all client desktops and laptops here we see i can decide to just switch off skype for business if i think my company is not using skype for business anymore but i can decide to just put it on if we are still using skype for business so we have the one drive desktop and we have the one drive group so i'm going to leave this one drive group just put this off and the one drive desktop should be on so for the rest we can see we have our standard office which will be installed like the excel word powerpoint outlook publisher and access and here we have the um, language which, which can select to select the primary language which of course I'm going to select English let me just select English United States and for additional language I can decide to select uh, let me see let me scroll down here okay so I can decide to select the Dutch language which um, let me just put the proof in and also we can put the full as well for the Dutch language so let me just click add so it has been added and then we can say to say okay let's go to let me see it has been select additional language so let me see if it has been selected okay that has been selected let's, okay then we can go to the next option and the next option is the installation option it says shut down running application um, i'm going to leave this for off we can we can decide to put those put this on we can shut down every other running application so that for this our uh, apps to actually um, be installed but i can but i can decide to just leave this the way it is so then i will click next so in next for the um, installation option we can shut down running application but i'm going to leave this the way it is so let me just click next and here it says upgrade option so uninstall any ms information or a version of office including visual and project which is on so which means that um every uh, other version of office on that device will be uninstalled before this version of office will be installed so here it says uninstall visual uninstall project uninstall sharepoint designer uninstall info path so here i'm going to leave this the way it is and just click next so by clicking this here, um, you want to actually um, um, accept the um, end users. Uh, so you want to actually accept the end users license agreement because if you don't accept this, um, I think there may be a problem installing this device because this has to be accepted during the uh, installation either by the user or if you accept it, if you just f um, check this to be on or it will be accepted for the user so the user does not need to accept any other, would not receive any pop-up to accept this uh, end user's license agreement. And here we have the KMS client key. Say so product key entry is not required for KMS management service. So if you are working for a company, Definitely, you will, you will have a KMS server which will automatically activate Office, and you don't need to do that on manually. And mind you, users can as well use their um, Office 365 E3 or E5 license to activate um, Office. And here we have the product activation. So we are going to use the use um, the user's base. You can see we don't have any other option to select. So we're going to use the user's base license. So select, click next. Here we can provide the organization name to set the company property on office. So I can just decide to just give this my company name and then give some other information if I want to do. So I will click next. And here we have some other options actually which we can configure. So if I scroll down here, you can see we have for office access, Excel, OneNote and more. So we can decide to actually configure more options here but i'm not going to do that right now for this video so that the video doesn't get long so what after doing this we will need to just let me just scroll down to see if we have other option when i click finish and here we have finished completing so i can click review 
to review how my installation is going to look like so for the default file format i'm just going to select the office we can say keep current we can decide to say keep current settings for what not configured or we can decide to accept like standard when you open office for the first time it's going to ask you what was the, the file for file format so i'm going to just click ok here so to complete this configuration what we need to do first of all you need to just make sure and scroll just check and make sure that everything have been configured properly so you can see the version of windows that will be installed this is the office professional plus 2019 will be installed and there's the um the version to deploy of office and you can see that um one group will not be installed the language pack that will be installed and also the um other options as well so after reviewing um, and making sure that you have selected all the right configuration and office that you need to install so we need to click submit or we can actually reset this configuration to start all over again but just click submit and after clicking submit now we have to click next so say do you want to deploy this application definitely i want to deploy the application and here we have to click you can see that after selecting yes we have other options which we can use so we'll click next here we say okay to which collection do you want to deploy this office 365 pro plus so let me browse to my collection so i want to actually deploy this to all the all users collection so that every user so we have the option when they log into that device we have the option to install office and mind you when office is installed on that, on that device not um when a new user log into that device the user will not have will not receive the option to install the software at uh, the office 365 flow because it's going to install just once so click next here and mind you here you can see that it says automatically distribute content for dependencies so i'm going to leave that selected and click next so it says here what um we need to actually distribute this to our distribution um point so what i need to do is i need to select my distribution point i only have one distribution point for this test environment click select and here I click next so for deploy deployment settings it says um the action will be to installed and the purpose will be to require actually if you say available which means that it should be available but i'm going to leave this to actually required and it says allow end users to attempt to repair this installation or we can pre deploy software to the user's primary device so I'll allow client on the meta internet connection to download content after the installation deadline which might incur additional costs so i'm just going to actually leave this on the default selection but mind you you can actually check what your company policies are for this before if your company wants you to actually allow end users to attempt to repair this application you can as well select that so just click next and here i want to um, install the software as soon as possible but we can decide to schedule the application to be available at a particular moment so if you think that you want to actually um make sure that the device um that you, maybe probably you want to install this um office during um evening time and not during the afternoon or during in the morning when you just start start your device in, in the morning you can actually schedule this installation but for now i want to install it as soon as possible and i'm going to click next and here we're going to display in software center and show all notification so we can actually hide it in software center but i want to display it in software center so the user will be able to see the software in his yes in your windows 10 device in software center and then click on the software to actually get the software installed so when software changes are required show a dialog window to to the user instead of a toast notification um, which says when installation deadline is reached allow the following activities to be performed outside the maintenance windows so we can actually um, the software installation should be um, scheduled and also we can do a system restart if required but the installation does not require a system restart so we can commit changes at deadline or during the maintenance windows require restart so just click next and here it says configuration method well i want to create a deployment alert when the threshold is higher than the following uh, let me just say when when i have a 50 percent field i want to actually create a threshold and also i want to create a threshold if i have a um, 85 percent success so if for example you have like 100 device and 85 percent of those device have in the software installed which means that i have about 85 percent success so i want to actually create an alert for that as well so i'm going to click next 
and here we can see the summary of what we are going to install and let me just first of all go to the location of this um let me scroll down here and go to the location of where this office 365 pro will be installed here i'm going to the, the office 365 pro will be configured here you can see right now we don't have any um file in this folder so here is the location you can see that's the location so when you click next right now it's said this progress status is working so after some time when the file gets start getting downloaded you see we start having some files here in this folder you can see that now right now it's started to download the file from the internet but mind you this file everything will be downloaded from the internet so you need to make sure you have access to the internet for this to be actually completed if you don't have access to the internet definitely the uh, download and you will receive um, a failure um, during this process so i'm going to actually pause this video and come back again when this has been fully completed so after the um the download of this um, office 365 pro plus has been completed here we need to click close so if i go back again to the folder where i was trying to download the software to here is the office 365 pro folder and you can see if i right click on this office and then click properties you can see we have about um 1.87 gigabyte of file so just click cancel and then let me just close this so mind you after downloading the office 365 flow uh, flow and distributing 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 that software to the distribution uh, point of your software center so what is going to happen is this it's going to take some time for that office to be distributed to all your location so right now what we need to do is we need to go to our windows 10 device and then open software center from there we can check if the office 365 pro pro is now available or not so after the distribution of the software to um, the distribution point and I go to the um, Windows 10 device here you can see now we now have um, Office 365 Pro so I already deployed an Office 365 app to this um, device so if I scroll down here and here you can see we have the option that says downloading and installing software so if I go to my installation status in my office uh, my software center here you can see that um, right now the um, Office 365 Pro, because I just started this device not so long, is being downloading. So it's going to take some time because it's about two gigabytes of about almost two gigabytes of file that will be downloaded on your device. So it's going to take some time and actually um, be downloaded and then be installed on this device. And actually, this is downloaded and installing automatically because I actually configured this to be a required um, software which of course is going to download and install automatically on the user's device. My name is Kelvin Johnson. Thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video. So if you have any question concerning SSCM, Microsoft Intune, Windows Tune, Windows Server, Office 365 or Azure Active Directory, you can send me an email and I will reply to you as quick as possible possible and please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more it related video and also give me a thumb up in this video for taking my time to create this video thank you very much and hope to see you next time bye